Jim Heyman, author and Portland resident, met with me at Fort Allen Park to discuss his most recent book, The Chill of Night. You were also um, the book of the week, for, or the, yeah, the book of the week book from of the, the week. Boston Globe. Boston Globe named it a book of the week, and uh, gosh, I got uh, maybe the best rave review I've ever had. It, it was enough to make one blush from yeah. the uh, Portland Press Herald. Well, not um, only that, but Longfellow Books just released their list of the top bestsellers of their store for 2009, and you were number five on the 100 list, and number one as far as mysteries go. You beat out Dan Brown and a whole bunch of people. And all those guys. And all yeah. those guys <laughs> who, we, we don't, we, they'll be down the list, and we'll all be saying, when's the next Michael McCabe uh, book coming out? And this one just did come out. This one just did come out, The Chill of Night. I'll flash it at the camera there so people can take a look Does at the cover. Does it take place here in Portland? It takes place here in Portland and on a place called Hearts Island, which is a nice island that is remarkably similar in every way to the island across the way there called Peaks Island. <laughs> Where you have a home. Where we have a home. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, is it true you write about what you know? Well, that's, you know, that is the oldest cliche when uh, you pick up any book on how to write novels. They say, write what you know. But I don't think that's meant literally. Uh, what you do is take a piece from this person you know and a little bit of the personality from that person and a little bit of a place that you might know and you kind of use them so it all rings true and it all rings real but it doesn't it's not you know a biography of somebody who actually exists either yourself or someone else right. so but as you say you you pick a little bit of uh, what you know to put in there and who you are yeah, the people you know yeah. are they're real things about them and you you may choose to uh, use some part of Leslie McVeigh's personality in a book uh, you might not even recognize it but it might be something about you that uh, I've noticed and I'll put it into a character Hope it's the good stuff anyway um, it is fun for those of us reading the books to to recognize this city that we all love um, when I started reading the cutting it was like that's me I when I moved back here I got up early in the morning with my dog and ran on the West End. And now you don't anymore. And now I don't after reading this book. <laughs> I don't know what I'm not going to do after I read the next one. <laughs> well, actually, um, <clears throat> I think there is a little bit less on-page scare in The Chill of Night. It's um, a little bit more of a psychological thriller, mm -hmm. um, which was an interesting exercise and some interesting characters in it. And do you have a third book? Waiting in the Wings? I have one. That, well, it's not Waiting in the Wings yet. It's uh, Waiting to be Written. I'm a little way into it. I'm probably 20 pages into it, and I have an idea for the plot, and I think I know where it's going. But uh, it'll hopefully uh, be ready by this time next year. Well, another thing I'd like to comment on, um, the Netherlands lost the World Cup, but they gained your publishing rights for the cutting. They did. Uh, Netherlands, a uh, book came out in the Netherlands mm -hmm. last year. Um, in Dutch, so I couldn't read it since... <laughs> you don't speak Dutch. <laughs> I don't speak Dutch. Uh, the British uh, uh, version is coming out. Penguin UK oh, is publishing in mm -hmm. the UK, New Zealand, Australia, Ireland, etc. Uh, in January 2011, and German translation comes out in May. Oh my gosh, and, you're on uh, a roll. The, Tur and, the Turks are bringing it out even. I <laughs> think we knew you when. Well, we're glad to, to introduce our community to someone from our community who's having some great success writing about a fictional part of our city that well, may be not so fictional. Write what you know. I know a lot about Portland. Right. Uh, well, and uh, some of it is fictionalized and some yeah. of it's as you say, not so fictional. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us here. And uh, we look, I my look. My pleasure. And thank you very much for yeah, having let's me. Let's show the books one more let's time. Let's show right? the books. <laughs> Back to you, Tom.